I love it. Uh, very good stuff, my friend. Uh, all right, here we go. So <laughs> we attention. not at all. Uh, but <laughs> so I played watch the it on the replay. Sound. Watch it on the yeah. replay. We I was setting this up because people, it's time for the hit show. The hit show, the hit segment, everyone across the country has been talking about. They're like, I didn't even care about Utah ahead of time. I didn't care about Utah. And then they watch this segment, and they're like, I need to know every week. I need to know not only what is the county going to be this week and what facts are they going to drop on us, but also who's going to win between Ryan and Clayton in the epic battle of Utah County's quiz. People, it is time for... It's a county's quiz about it. Utah County's quiz. It's between Ryan and Clay. Clay is up on Ryan, but he has a chance to win. Utah County's quiz. Everybody, welcome to another week of Utah County's quiz. Utah County's quiz, where these two sweet husky boys go battle to battle. They battle it up, <laughs> and they see who will be superior in the battle of Utah County's quiz. We've done a bunch. Here's the current score. It's on wow, your screen right that. now. Uh, right now, we have a wonderful score of eight to five. Eight to five. Not as bad as it could have been. Ryan, of course, lives in. Uh, he was born here, but he lives in in California now. He's been in California for about a decade. And Clayton is an avid lover of all things Utah. So the fact that Ryan has five on him, I mean, what does that say about Clay? This guy's all talk, maybe. We don't know. Or maybe the quiz questions are a little bit slanted towards Ryan uh, when it's up for him, uh, just to give uh, him or, an advantage. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> well, let's uh, – more questions about videos that I specifically appeared in. And, <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um... One week when I just did a full softball to Ryan to make sure he stays in there. <laughs> Ryan Bradford, what's your middle name? But Ryan, I mean, I don't know what's going on. He's he, he uh, What is this northern aggression, some would say? You're all up north, my friend. <laughs> I yeah, mean, you are. True. Look at the I'm colors. I I got Summit County. Yes. That's a, you're that was a the, big win for the me. The county you grew up in, hopefully they got everyone. Everyone knows you don't win Utah Risk by starting in the north. That's, that's true. You, you got to play. You have to have a central plan of attack. <laughs> and Clayton certainly, currently, Clayton has a lot. Clayton's in purple, Ryan's in yellow, and then, of course, uh, Charlie, the only person to get Never questions right. Never forget that an eight-year-old won an episode. <laughs> Never forget that about this. That's why I leave that on there. Ryan and uh, Clay, you're probably both wondering, what, Ryan? What could possibly be the quiz or the county of the quiz this week i do a random number generator based on county population and what it came up with this week gentlemen of course it came up with this san juan county san juan oh, county the big the, one a big, big one juan. home of the four corners the big juan the big juan yeah. san juan if you will uh san juan county the furthest most southwestern or southeastern county a part of the four mm -hmm. corners though i do not ask about that i'm not looking for that kind of easy stuff here this week but yeah, we no do county, see no county seat questions. No county. Here. Well, we'll find out about that. But that, we've been doing this tradition for a minute here, where the person who won last week gets to do a coin flip, and if they get to choose what the coin flip is, that means they will go first in question number five. So, Ryan, you won last week, so I get to ask you this, Ryan. What do you want for the coin flip this week? You got heads or tails. This will decide who goes first in question number five. Ryan, what do you want? I, I wish we had kept tally of the last time we used. Oh this yeah, app. like I'll do, where, like how the how many millions I'll of do, coin flips? I'll do I'll thing? do that yeah. next. Well, the million. You screenshot see, this. Screenshot this now. You can see what's going on down there, but uh, I will. Uh, hey, do you want to do a prop bet? <laughs> I, want I, mean, <laughs> I want action! I want action! I want action! Prop bet on how many uh, over under? Uh, what are my odds? Under? What are my odds? What are my odds? Two thousand, ten thousand. By the way, I finished that sh <laughs> Showtime show action about sports bet. It's the greatest show I've ever watched in my life. Uh, I'm gonna go heads. Heads, it is. Ryan, look to your screen. Do you want to do ah! oh! Clayton I don't usually. like how little that flipped. Uh, Clayton like barely flipped. Well, all right, you can get in the minutiae of all that. Uh, Ryan, you won the coin flip. That means you get to go first in question number five. But we will get to that when we get to it. The first up is Ryan because you won the quiz last week. Question number one. Question number one this week goes to Ryan. Ryan, are you there with me? Yes. Question number one, San Juan County. It is. Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh, shit, I screwed that up. Question number one. Look to this. Look to your screen right now, Ryan. Look to your screen right now. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this video, okay? And you'll see where I'm going with this. 
Just don't show him the answer to the question. <laughs> Trust me, I took away. I took away the any any way that could happen. Uh, Ryan, the question is this: Watch this video right here. Hold on, I gotta turn up the audio. Says we're close. These two. This is a cute little couple doing a little travel oh, YouTube cute. page, and they make it all dramatic and all this stuff. But they're, of course, going to Monument Valley because... All right. We've seen all the pictures. It looks it looks exactly like the pictures. See? That's what's beautiful about Monument Valley. It looks exactly like the pictures. This is a scenery that's inspired movie directors like, and artists and cowboys and cow women. Monument Valley. Forrest Gump Point. Oh, yeah. So, my question for you. Ryan Bradford, they just brought up a big point. San Juan County is home to the infamous shot in the movie Forrest Gump. Forrest mm -hmm. Gump. Where Forrest ends his run across the country with Monument Valley perfectly seen in the background. So, he ends his big run across the country in Monument Valley, which is, this is the Utah side. Remember, Monument Valley is in Arizona, but this is in Utah. This is in San Juan County. Uh, it's a popular turnout at mile marker 13 on Utah Highway 163, just in case you ever want to go. Mile 13, mile marker 13 on Highway 163. My question for you, Ryan, what is on the hat Forrest Gump wears <laughs> in that okay. scene, Ryan? What is the hat that Forrest Gump is wearing in that scene? I'll give you four options. You can get one full point. If you miss it, Clay can steal for point five. Ryan, here are your four options. Oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> Didn't give the question away. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. No, oh, shit. Did I screw this up? Oh, God. I might have screwed this up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> right. We'll do this really quickly. I can fix this. Gentlemen, yeah. this is how polyester blend goes. I can fix things on the fly. That's how, you know. I, I can got, fix this. I can fix this. <laughs> I can fix this. Nothing is, nothing is messed up here, dude. Everything's cool, dude. My question for you, Ryan Bradford. I have you yet to see an answer revealed, so as the so, arbitrator, yes. I'm happy. Thank you. The question, what is on Forrest Gump's hat? you got four options, Ryan. you got to pick one of them. You miss it. goes to Clay. Is it A, Bubba Gump Shrimp, B, Dr. Pepper, C, U.S. Ping Pong Team, or D, University of Alabama? It's got to be Bubba Gump Shrimp. Are you confident? Because he's, yeah, he's, uh, he's always wearing that in that movie. I mean... He did go to the University of Alabama. He did play for the U.S. ping pong team. I mean, I don't he know. Did, uh, he did pee a lot of Dr. Pepper, but I'm speaking, fully confident. Spe I'm speaking, fully confident. Speaking of, of softballs for Ryan Bradford, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Gentlemen, look to your screens. Bubba Gump Shrimp yes! is correct. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Ryan. I Ryan gets I one full Everybody point. knew that, right, though? <laughs> Everybody, hey. like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bradford, I thought, you know, like, it's one of those where maybe you, maybe I ask it and then it gets all confusing. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Here. I mean, yeah. No, there is a psycho psychology to be like, oh, it's, it's too obvious. I know. Like, like, I can't yeah, be the right that's, what I, that's what I'm going for. All I right. What you're going to do how many people, how many people were jogging behind him? In the, oh, like, that would have been amazing. Okay. See, that's a quiz, all right, quiz master. All right, Clay, the next question for you. Question number two, you can get one full point. Right? How many grains of sand are in home? <laughs> <laughs> what do you see on your screen right there? What do you see God on your screen? Now? What do you see on your screen right now? I see two rock formations. What do you think that might be? <laughs> all right, Brad, Bradford. You might. Right. <laughs> Bradford's, <laughs> Bradford's deducted point zero 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 one. He is at point. He's no, no. He's at one. I can't. I can't do that math. All right, Clayton. Do you know what that is? This would help if Those you knew what that is. That's true, but they might uh, also be. This is San Juan County. They're not bear's ears, so don't even get me there. Uh, they are they, bear's ears, uh, everybody. So this is a photo of bear's no. ears. <laughs> this is already no, a good that's start. Not bear's ears. That's this is the official photo of bear's ears on the Wikipedia that, page. No. So are you serious? That's yes. Wrong. This is well. This is that's what's actually, that's actually that's wildly incorrect. All can right. I get a point for that? That maybe I'm gonna. I mean, Jeremy, can you Google do some? actual bear's ears? They are filled. They are covered in trees and rounded at the top. It's actually an alpine area uh, interesting i can look into it look this kind of reminds me of that gag in the naked gun where he's like 
I can't look anywhere without being reminded. Oh no, of no, her. no! I Clay's right. I mean, Clay's right. That the Wikipedia page is is not good. They should not do that. Clay, that's it's what like you're a, referring it's like to. The Intruder Wikipedia. Yeah, Reaver, no, Clay. On the first Clay, snare drum. Clay, point yeah. zero zero one. Clay, that is amazing. You knew it. You knew it right away. I did not because I remember looking at being like, "That doesn't look right." I said, "Those are not." That's bears ears. the official, <laughs> but that is the official photo of Bears Ears on Wikipedia. But Clay, well, the caption says that it's. Indian Creek Canyon and the Six Shooter Peak. Well, so why wouldn't they fucking put bears ears because on I the think, goddamn wick? Like- I think that was those Indian Creek was proposed to be added as part of bears ears. I think I think that's what the confusion is. Well, by but, the way, here's here's the info. Oh wait, no, there's there's no citation, so I can't give you the. What would citation. Utah County's quiz will be without controversy? It's already off to a good start. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here? Uh, I, of, of course, I look at that now. I'm like, why? Why did I think the other one? That is, of course, that's Bears ears. Clayton, point zero zero one goes to you, but you can get a full point off of this. Clay, my question for you. This is geology, of course, but it's really about bears ears. Mm-hmm. San Juan County is home to the inf- uh, is home to bears ears. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bears ears. National monument created by Barack Obama. By the way, Bears Ears, of course, is not the Navajo actual name for the place, which I'm not going to disrespect by mispronouncing. But of by course, Bears to get the, go there. Yeah. They, exactly, Bears Ears is of course the English name, but there's an official name that's better and that should be used. But I'm a dumb white male. National monument created by Barack Obama. Are uh, after but right at the end of his presidency, of course. Our current president. Uh, decided to unprecedentedly reduce the previous president's creation of this national monument in an un- unprecedented move. My question for you, Clay, is what is the percentage that President Trump decided, decided, bears ears? I give you four options. Did he decide by? Did he reduce the size by sixty-five percent, seventy-five percent, eighty-five percent, or ninety-five percent? How much did Donald Trump reduce? The bear's ears size. Boy, this is like a lot easier than the Bubba Gump question. Is it? Um, <laughs> I would have joking. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm being. I, I know you like you like you like a challenging question, buddy. That's why I do this for you. Ten nah. percent you know, you know, of some, landmass. Some people can't, have never seen Forrest Gump. It's a controversial movie. <laughs> That's a uh, controversial movie. <laughs> it was a wildly very, unpopular very film. Weird, weird, weird <laughs> what? It really disappointed at the box office. Um, I'm going to go with B. 75. Is that your final answer? Yeah. That is incorrect. B is incorrect. Ryan, you can steal for 0.5. What is the percentage in which Donald Trump reduced the size of Bears Ears National Monument once he became president? Barack Obama creating it. B is off the table. B is off the table. I'm going to go with C, 85%. Final answer. Final answer. I got to give you guys, let me show you this is your screen right now. You can see what's highlighted right there. It is 85%. 85%. Oh, Oh boy. Clay's going to hate me after this one. 0.5 to Ryan Bradford. I hope hope the next question's in AV club. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, what is the color of the wig you're wearing right now? Oh, let's find out. Oh, um, boy. Gonna, uh, you know. Already upset about it. Already. I've got some uh, users tweeting me that this whole thing is a QAnon conspiracy against me. <laughs> uh, it's pretty fair, actually. I, I think I'm not too far off on that one. You're actually in the VR play. You're in your hot tub. Where we your... quiz one, we quiz all. Uh <laughs> My next question is for, of course, Ryan. Ryan, my next question is for you. And we're not going too far off of topics here because San Juan County, Ryan Bradford, for one full point, really, really dramatically increasing uh, your your lead right now. Ryan Bradford, there are four national monuments in San Juan County, Mm -hmm. along with other national protected lands. But there are four national monuments. There's, of course, Bears Ears, Hoven Weep. Natural Bridges, and Rainbow Bridge. My question for you, Ryan, which one of those national monuments shared their name with a band from Phoenix, Arizona? Which one of those four national monuments share their name with a band in Phoenix, Arizona? Ryan, I give you four options. Is it, of course, Bears Ears, Hoven Weep, 
Natural Bridges or Rainbow Bridge? Which one of those is a band name in Phoenix, Arizona for one wait, full wait, point wait. or could be still? God <laughs> damn it. I can't do everything right. I'm trying That's to do how many graphics. Phoenix, Arizona band. It's Elvin Wet. Elvin <laughs> Wet. I'm done with the I'm done with the show. I'm Actually, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's it. That's the end of the show, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you. I'm and also really, really. How many graphics? Huge I got a fan meet? of the unknown national monument in San Juan County, Meat Puppets National Monument. <laughs> it's also a famous fan from Arizona. The Killers I'm, National. I'm a, monument. I'm a big fan of the uh, Jimmy Eat World <laughs> National Monument from Tempe. <laughs> I actually have no idea who what this is, so I'm gonna go Hoven Weep. Hoven Weep <laughs> is your Hoven Hoven it's, it's spelled yeah. with another E. Kind of blew it, but we know what I do. I blow things. Let's see what this answer is. Uh, we'll know whether on. Q will tell us whether this thing is rigged. Well, I just want to say that these everyone playing this game, I love them. I think it's a great thing that you're doing this. Uh, I can't <laughs> wait to show you. Uh, I think Clay knows where this is going, but uh, this is a little bit of them playing. Let me show your screen right now. <laughs> hell, hell this, yeah. this is such bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And they're not even good. Good. Really good. Are they a, good. Are they a doom band? Are they doom metal? They refer to themselves as Desert Rock. Hoven Weep. Hoven Weep is the correct answer. Hoven Weep is the Hoven name Wep. of Hoven Wep. The Hoven Weep is the correct name of that local also band. Also protesting the answer to that question with the misspelling in the. <laughs> All right, Clay, you're up to point zero zero two. Uh, because I did misspell that. Ryan, Am I statistically already no, eliminated you gotta, from the quiz? No, no, no. You got. You got. You've got. You've got. Couple more of you got options. Okay. You got options. All right. All right. Uh, Clay, my question for you, and I think you'll love this one. I think you'll love this one, Clay. Okay. My next question for you, the last question specifically for you, is a question about the Utah House of Representatives. Clay, mm -hmm. on your screen right now, you will see the subject of who this question is about. Oh, it's Phil. He is a member. Of the total piece of shit Hall of Fame, <laughs> he is, of course, Representative Phil Lyman represents San Juan County. He is a member of the mm, Utah mm, 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 total mm. piece of shit uh, Hall of Fame. I wanted to do this for you. Clay, my question for you is this. San Juan County is represented <sighs> by Phil Lyman, a member of the total polyester blend's own total piece of shit Hall of Fame. Yeah. No, you know, of course, it's uh, Phil Lyman Researching this question for the quiz, I found out Phil represents more counties than yeah. any other member of the Utah House of Representatives. Yeah. How many counties does Phil oh, Lyman Lord. represent? A number between 5 and 10. Pick between 5 and 10. He represents how many counties, the most counties of any House of Representatives. Pick a number between 5 and 10. If you get it wrong, Ryan can still report 5. Garfield. Um, I'm going to go low. I'm going to say six. Final answer, Clay. Yeah. Clay, look to your screen, but you don't need to, because all you need to do is hear this. Nine. That is incorrect. Six is incorrect. Ryan. But, do, is, do I still get to win if Ryan gets further away? We'll, we'll find out what happens here. Very spooky. Ryan. This is a I very this is scary because you could really. If Ryan gets this exactly right, you realize I'm slamming my laptop and walking away. Right? No, there's two more questions after this. There, no, I more... mean just in general. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> Even though it might be mathematically impossible, but we'll find out. Ryan, <laughs> between five and ten, how many counties do you think Phil Lyman uh, represents more than any other? Uh, seven. I'm gonna say seven. Gentlemen, look to your screen. Oh, Lord. I will give you the I answer. I know what look to your screen mate means. You will see there is Phil Lyman, and this is how many counties. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven counties. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
He is running away uh, with it. Even the questions that aren't for him, he is running oh my away God. with it. We will make it interesting. We'll make it interesting. Ryan, you got to go first because you were first in the toss-up. Question number five in the toss-up. Oh, this is brutal. This is brutal. Question number five. This is a new one. I, I'm trying something new here. I'm trying a bunch of new things here. San Juan County is one of the few counties, Ryan. You got to go first. San Juan County is one of the few counties in Utah. Where by the way, I counted out all the counties, and Severe is the one I didn't count. Uh, by I the guess. way, five, seven. He represents seven counties. Seven. The least county in the I know, but that's counties. you know, it's just amazing. I think the other one was five. I think it was the yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this one. Uh, I do not know her. I don't know her politics, but she doesn't make a name for herself. But uh, Kira. Berkland, Berkland. She is five, five counties, five counties. Mm. Ryan, my question for you. This is a new one. San Juan County is one of the few counties in where in Utah where its county seat is not the most populated city. So, Ryan, you can get one full point here, uh, or Clay can steal for point five. San Juan County is one of the is one of those counties that one of the few that has the county seat as not the most populated city. I want you to give me first the correct county seat and then the next largest city okay in that order but i will give you six options because these are the three largest cities okay i'm not telling you which is what but these are the three largest cities wait wait wait, hold on yeah you're giving him three cities and he has to say which one's the county seat and which one's the most populous yes and this will actually help first of all you ryan gets a county seat question that's just Wonderful. This was a toss up. This was a toss up. This was a toss up. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Here are the six options. Here are the six options. Of course, I don't think it matters. This is alphabetical. This is alphabetical. So you have six (laughs) options, three, six. So is it Blanding Bluff? So look at the top. County seed, largest population. You have to correct guess the correct Mm -hmm. one. Is Mm -hmm. it A, Blanding Bluff, Blanding Monticello? (laughs) Is it Bluff Blanding, Bluff Monticello? Or is it Monticello (laughs) Blanding, Monticello Bluff? Uh, I'm going to go B, Landing Monticello. That is incorrect, 2.5, Ryan. Oh, Pathetic. If every, if every question would be this, Pathetic Ryan, Clay. Be great. Pathetic. If you would have got the top. Did you just call me Pathetic Clay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, the answer is obviously E. It's uh, any county seat question you give me, I'm going to get right. That is right for point five oh two, Clayton. Clayton. <laughs> but also, but also, you have to Blanding, get... Blanding is never in second place for fun. Uh, Bla- it's just well, such a fun place. Bluff is my favorite, by the way, and Bluff is because of Bluff poker. rules. Bluff is very good. Final question, just for fun, just for fun. This is a runaway. Ryan, two weeks in a row is going. Can to this be, the... be worth five points? This will be worth. <laughs> yes. One... This is for all the the win. This is worth one point eight. Kidding. You know, I love asking these questions. It's closest to the T, gentlemen, closest to the T. San Juan (laughs) County became a county in the same year two other counties became a county, Emory and Uinta. They were counties 21, 22, and 23 out of 29. Now, remember, two counties were created after 1900. My question for you, between 1847 and 1900, 27 counties were founded in Utah. Which year did San Juan County become a state between 1849, sorry, 1849 and 1900? Which year did San Juan County? Now, remember, it's it's 22nd, but it's either 21, 22, or 23. Which year did San Juan County between 1849 and, ni- and 1900, closest to the T, doesn't matter who go, uh, you can go first if you want, but closest to the T, give me a year. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, relatively early, 1875. Oh, I was going to go 1865. Okay. It's even earlier. 1865, 1875. Gentlemen, this has been a fun quiz. I know that Clayton's not going to like it. Didn't, <laughs> didn't get it on. Spoiler alert. Didn't get on it. Didn't get going. He didn't like it. But that's okay because Clay is ahead in the, in the whole standings of it all. But, gentlemen, look to your screens. The correct answer 1880. Clayton, you, uh, you save your dignity. 1.5. That's worth six points. That's strong finish. Wow. It Not couldn't, strong it, enough for it couldn't be reached. Gen- look, this is amazing. I'm making it official here. Go back to the beginning. 
We see the scores. We see the scores. From and here on out, I'm going to only eat shrimp while I play this game. And just in honor of that ridiculous how, lead-off question. How, how are you going to cook it? Shrimp scampi. <laughs> shrimp scampi. <laughs> Grilled shrimp. <laughs> Grilled shrimp scampi. Uh, it is a close. It is close now. Scampi. It is close now. Ryan, you're within two. You're within striking. Ryan has entered the southern attack. Yeah, front. that's true. He's now got a two-front war. But let's see if Clay can, maybe he can do what uh, Napoleon and Adolf Hitler couldn't do and fend off a two-front war. Uh, Ryan Bradford. I'm going to have to spend the week on 8chan trying to crack this conspiracy code. I should have done. I, 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 I'm I sorry. I thought it was too hard. to. I should have just done. I was going to do mile marker, and I did hat because I thought hat was funnier. So I apologize, Clay. Mm. I will take that into consideration next time I make the quiz. Uh, it is 1024. Uh, more, more county, seat, more county more, seat questions, please. More county more seat Forrest questions. More Forrest Gump questions, please. Uh, uh, <laughs> Judge Judge Jeremy, how do you feel? As auditor of the quiz, how upset are you? Or you feel it's fine? Please give me a ruling. I mean, as Lewis commented in the comments, uh, it's <laughs> Chat Master clearly, Jeremy. that was like the easiest question in the history of the county quiz. <laughs> um, but... There, there was no like uh, disputable because my job is to see that the questions are fairly asked and answered, and in that regard, everything went smoothly. Except for Hogan. But that. were were my job also to judge the you know difficulty levels? Then there might be additional. <laughs> there might be additional feedback. Okay, all right, hey, that's yeah. not that's not within my purview, so I won't. Okay. Well, you. let let me be clear. To Ryan's credit, I was going to guess Rainbow Bridge. as the Ah, name. see? Not a little tricky. Uh, like I was thinking, yeah, Rainbow Bridge. Gentlemen, that... I was thinking, I, I had metal on the mind. Yeah, yeah, that I was metal. thinking Hoven Weep. Hoven Weep. I mean, Hoven Yeah, I was thinking Hoven Weep, actually, so that would have been my guess. All right, what? let's do a quick two...